Hey everyone, this is Lucky70X, welcome back to Let's Play Mario & Luigi Bowser's It's a Story. In the last episode, we completed the left and right sections of the star area in the energy hold. In the rest of this episode, we're going to finish up this star section and move on within the energy hold. But first, we're actually going to get a new mechanic for Mario & Luigi in this upper section. We're going to need both left and right sections complete, as I mentioned last time, for this to work, though, because we need both those panels in order to uh, be able to get those. Um, and as this thing's mentioning, there's attack pieces. Apparently they show up on the map in other areas and they don't in this one. I don't know, I never use the map to look for attack pieces anyway, so that's really, to me it's a mute point. But as you can see, we need that star panel to get into this door. And that's important because in this door, we're going to be learning our new mechanic. As you can see, we can't jump back up, up here, so we're going to move on. Um, and well, we're going to learn it after we get do this thing, because it's going to be a drill! And to demonstrate that, it's going to be like, hey, you can do it like a drill! And because of that, we're going to learn how to drill. Unlike, uh, oh, is this attack in, uh, but I don't think, I don't remember if this attack's in Partners in Time or not. I don't think it is in Partners in Time. Is it? No, I think it is. I just don't, no, yeah, it is, it is for, uh, Luigi. But unlike, uh, for Baby Mario and Baby Luigi, they can do it. But, um, unlike the first two games, um, the, the drill attack is based off of the jump, instead, the spin jump, instead of the, uh, the hammer move. Which, I don't know, for some reason that was always a hammer move. It makes more sense to be, for it to be based off of the spin jump, though, because you're spinning around like a drill. I don't know. But it's in the same section as the spin jump, um, so both of you spin jump, uh, you, you spin down there, it's the basic drill thing. You see in past Mario Luigi games, you, you dig down, um, you can get through uh, low areas through that way, and also you can dig up sus suspicious spots. And you know what that means, guys, because in the first two games, when you dug up suspicious spots, you got suspicious spots. It's really a tough word to say. Uh, tongue twisters! But and so as, as you can see, we can actually dig on this, under this area now because of that. Um, and also in Bowser's, in, in, uh, Bowser's body, you'll find areas that when you dig down, it'll actually activate other things as well. So, um, more active uses for the digging thing. And of course, the best use is for in 2D, you can actually uh, dodge enemies by digging underground, which is really our only hope to get past these guys. But even then, as you can see, because we're on a, on a race platform, we can't even get up there, so there's really no way to avoid this guy now. So once again, enemies in this section, really hard to avoid. Kind of unfortunate, but that's how it works. Um, so anyway, we can uh, basically just defeat those enemies, and we'll talk more about digging. So it's like I said, suspicious spots, and I couldn't make it underground time. Unfortunately, it's kind of quick to, you, you have to be on, ready for that to happen. Um, here's the other attack, but here's the attack of this guy when it's big, though. Ugh, so much damage! 37 damage! As you can see, Mario's pretty much hurting, so for once in this game, I'm going to use an item. That's right, I'm resorting to using items to heal Mario. I mean... The, the amount of enemies in this, in this area to fight, you generally get a little overwhelmed more than nurse socks and uh, small shells, and your uh, healing from the badges can kind of sort of uh, overcome. So eventually, you're going to have to sort of deal with that. Anyway, like I said for like three times now, try to say the sentence, a suspicious spots on the ground, you'll be able to get beans, and beans in this game function a lot differently from the way they function in um, the other games, pretty much. Um, because they, uh, in the other games they're used to buy stuff, or, well, I guess they were used to enhance stats in, uh, in, in the first game, Superstar Saga. This harkens back more of that, because, um, it's not like part of the time where you use beans to buy stuff. There's three different types of beans you can get. Heart beans, special beans, and power beans. What you can do, um, unlike the other game where you have to drink coffee in order to, uh, increase your stats by blending beans into coffee, these beans, um, will actually be a one-to-one -one increase. So every single bean you get... Um, you'll pick up Bro, and you'll be able to increase that stat by 1. So HP, SP, and Power, you can increase both Mario, Luigi, and Bowser um, by using these Heart Beans and Special Beans and Power Beans. Uh, now, we're, gonna, we're not actually going to find any Power uh, power Beans in this area, unfortunately. There's only going to be Heart and Special Beans here, and you find them wherever you dig into one of these spots here that are all shiny. So, find a shiny spot. Really? Really? I totally went underground there. Bullshit! Ugh! I just want to avoid these enemies! Ugh! Those Proplorps can snipe you from so far away! So obnoxious! But, um, that's that's the way they work. Um, so once I collect a good amount of beans, I'll actually go into the menu and uh, I'll show you how they work in a second. Uh, because basically, um, so unlike the other game, which is why they're a little bit broken in a way, because, um, you know, back in Super Star Saga, you know, it'd be like 20 beans for like a four, like a five stat increase, for, for example. This one, it's one to one, so every bean is a stat increase. So every single time you get a bean, although granted, there's a lot less beans in this game than there is in Superstar Saga. So I mean, I guess in the end, you're not increasing the stats by that much. Um, but it's a one to one increase, unlike uh, past games. I mean, they're not, uh, like I said, there aren't as many beans, but there's enough that these actually are a very significant way to increase your uh, HP, SP, and power. And this is, by the way, the thing I mentioned long ago when I was talking about leveling up SP. 
This is why I wouldn't level up SP more than once, because these SP beans, the special beans, they're going to be what enables us to use a multi to do a special attacks now, because it's going to actually grow our SP really fast. So we're going to be able to get easily get, you know, all three characters are easily going to be able to get, you know, a good extra 20, 30, 40 SP throughout the game from these beans. And from that, you know, we can easily use more special attacks. So you don't really need to level it up as much because these beans will give you enough SP to really skate by with your special attacks. Uh, like, I mean, we're, it's, a, it's a pretty significant increase to your special attacks. Now, I'm heading back into a, a previous area because we actually can pick up some beans in here. Um, there's actually, I, I forget if I should or not, but um, there actually is a, a way to, if you uh, press R on the item screen, you'll actually be able to examine your beans. They'll give a list of every area. Freaking Luigi! Ah! Screw it, we can go over here and he'll warp up here anyway. Freaking Luigi is never where I want him to be. Um, but there's, uh, it'll tell you how many beans are in area, so if you, you can actually make sure you get every bean by checking the list and seeing, okay, so I need, uh, you know, X amount of beans in this area. So there's 17 in this one, we got 9 in the first section, there's a few more here, and we're actually going to find the rest of them in a, in a, in a later section in this area. So very soon we'll be able to actually uh, get the rest of the beans. So once you have all 17 beans, you know, it's, it's, there's a limited amount of beans in the game. So unlike uh, Super Star Saga, where you actually can get unlimited beans and uh, power up your characters that way, there are at least a limited number of beans under here, so there are a little bit a limited number of power-ups in this game, as opposed to Super Star Saga, where there's an unlimited amount. Anyway, we haven't done the lower left or the lower right sections yet. Both of them will require the drill technique, which is why you have to do the upper one before you do those, those other ones. Um, but also, we can actually, we'll actually be able to get a switch we can use um, with the other... With, um, now that we have the upper section, you have the upper left and right will actually combine to make a, a panel that we'll have to use in here as well. So, um, just happens to conveniently uh, work that way, I guess. Um, now, actually, I should expl explain something about the beans. Because uh, as you saw, my, the way I, I leveled up the, the characters was a bit odd. But I'll explain that in a second. First, as you can see, um, you know, turn the Blu-ray on, the machine on to see the numbers, memorize them. And do them. If you do it more than if you uh, turn the light back on, it'll reset the the pattern and actually mix it up again. So uh, you have to do all six in one go. You know, just for memorization, you can't like you know take a, a second peek at it. You only get one look before it, it does that. Anyway, so about the beans again, um, which is going to be appropriate because actually the rest of the beans will be found in this door right here. So have the appropriate star panel head here, and you'll actually be able to get some beans and a new item. Um, I'll explain the item in a little bit, but the way I do beans. So as you saw, I did um, spread the special ones out evenly between Mario, Luigi, and Bowser. So um, I gave, you know, this, um, I gave, uh, all, I, I spread out evenly, you know. They, they tend to actually give them, um, they tend to give the beans in sort of uh, groups of three. Uh, spread, um, you'll, you'll find often, so uh, we won't actually have to sort of unevenly spread it out. Uh, but we gave, uh, I, I gave out evenly, because as you can see, the SP values for, um, Bowser, Mario, and Luigi, they're pretty similar, you know, they're within 10 of each other. So a gain in SP for all of them is pretty much equal, you know, it means the same to all of them. However, as you can see for the HP, um, Bowser has twice as much HP as Mario and Luigi. So giving a bean, an HP bean to Bowser doesn't really give you as much benefit as it does giving Mario and Luigi, because, you know, in terms of percentage, percentage increase, you know, one bean would be like a 0.5 increase, percent increase increase, as opposed to uh, if you're giving a bean to Mario and Luigi, which is a 1% increase in your health. So overall, the HP beans actually do mean more to Mario and Luigi than they do to Bowser, because Bowser has so much more HP than Mario and Luigi do. So I'm going to give the bulk of the HP beans to Mario and Luigi. The same goes for power, although I'll give more power beans to Bowser than I do HP beans. Um, power beans, Bowser does have about twice as much power as Mario and Luigi, so once we start getting power beans, um, by the way, as you saw, we actually did get all the beans in this area, so we don't have to worry about looking for beans anymore. Um, but once you get all the... And there also, another thing to mention, there aren't any good, going to be any beans in any previous areas in Bowser's body, so there will be no beans in the flap... In the flap... The flap, yes. In the flap zone or the pump works, you won't find any beans, so don't worry about looking there for them. Um, they're only going to be in future areas or in areas outside Bowser's body. As you saw before, you know, we, we've seen plenty of suspicious areas outside Bowser's body with the little X marks. Um, those all have beans in them as well. So we're actually, I'm actually, what I'm going to do after I complete this section, I'm actually going to have an episode of side questing. Um, just going to kind of tell you guys in advance, and I already leveled up here again. Uh, good stash stats right there. Gonna, I mean, it's been a while since I've upgraded stash. Let's do some stash. But I'm actually going to spend an episode where I go out and just collect all the beans that we can get um, in Tow Town and the caves and stuff like that. Um, and then a couple other side quest stuff we can do, because now that we have this digging mechanic, um, it does open up the rest. Really? That guy went, ugh, two in a row. That's just lame. Um, 
but as you remember, the mushroom balls, I said you need to have the digging technique to finish those as well. So there's a couple other side quests we can figure out. So basically, expect an episode of side quests coming out really soon. Um, but like I said, for the power beans, I tend to give them more to Mario and Luigi as well, because Mario and Luigi have a lot less power than Bowser does. So power beans mean more to him. So really, I only spread special beans out evenly between the bros and Bowser. Otherwise, I tend to give the beans... I, I'm going to probably favor the bros a bit more with beans than I do with Bowser, because each bean means more to the bros than it does for Bowser, with, you know, exception to the special beans. Anyway, so we have one... I mean, we have the obligatory mini Mario section here, and this one actually has four more attack pieces, so... Uh, we're getting close, it's going to bring it up to number 9, I believe. Um, and then we'll, we'll soon be able to get our 10th piece. And with that, we'll have a new special attack, which is pretty cool. Um, as you probably can expect, this new special attack will also unlock a new area in the in the Cluster Road Challenge. So this is another one of those ones that have a challenge associated to them. I'll be doing that during the side quest episode that I, I just previously mentioned. You know, the one where I go get all the beans. It's going to be sort of a Cluster Road bean side quest episode. So... Um, you know, a couple episodes from now, feel free to skip it, I guess, because it's going to be side quest. you won't have any main plot to it. But uh, we'll actually be getting a lot of cool stuff during that. So, um, I guess, actually, the, the, this cluster road challenge, probably the first item that's actually worth getting. Um, because you actually get a pretty good item from this cluster road challenge for the new item. It's actually pretty cool. I'm actually going to use it. So, if you wanted to see what item it is, you know, it's worth watching the challenge. Also, coincidentally, it happens to be the easiest um, of the cluster road challenges by far. This one's just really simple. But um, this is actually going to be where we get our 10th attack piece, right here, um, in this block. And with that, we're going to have our new special attack. So get ready, guys. It's time for a new special attack. Excellent. This one's this one's weird. I don't know if I necessarily like it. It does a lot of damage. Um, it does actually take a while, too. It's like the, it's like almost like it's not nearly as bad as Pocket Chomps from Partners in Time. But it's a, it's a pretty, um, compared to stuff like the Jump Helmet, it's a pretty lengthy, or the Yoohoo Cannon, it's a pretty lengthy attack. Because there's just so much involved for it. So you hit, basically, you hit Blue Jump in the air, you spin him around, and then you just keep hitting out, you know, you press A to jump. Basically, you have to press B, you have to press B to hit Luigi, you have to orient him so he's on top. If he's anywhere, you know, below the halfway point, you know, so if he's sideways or um, upside down, um, it's gonna end the special attack, he's gonna get knocked off it. And then you have to make sure you also press A to get, um, have Mario continue to juggle him into the air. Um, so you'll get eight attacks of this before he, um, the, the attack runs out. And that's just basically how it works. You're basically bouncing Luigi in a giant bouncy ball in the air, which is just crazy. I mean, first you have jump helmets, now you have giant bouncy balls. Definitely probably the weirdest um, number of special attacks. Like, these these special attacks are just weird. You're, it's a giant bouncy ball! Um, so yeah, you just keep juggling him up in the air. The toughest part, obviously, is orienting Luigi. Um, it's a bit trickier than you think because he does have momentum. And it's one of those things where, like, you know, there's a lot of, like, momentum mechanics where if you press left, you know, it's going to it's gonna shift the momentum leftward, leftward, until eventually, you know, you can get the stop, and then if you keep pressing it, it's going to start to spin to the right instead. And it's not like, you know, you can't really control the spin, it's more like you're controlling the momentum. So you keep pressing, you keep tapping left to change the momentum until he's, like, you know, stopped vertically, is what you want to do. So you want to basically just halt it until he stops. I'm just going to start a screw up here. I love that screw up. Where he, Mario forgets to jump up, and he just blew, he's like, Luigi, no! And he just bounces off into oblivion. But um, that's how the, that's how this, uh, that, that the attack works. You basically uh, have to orient Luigi correctly, press B to land, and then make sure you press A to keep Luigi juggling in the air. Very interesting attack. It does do quite a bit of damage. It does cost as much as the Yoohoo Barrels as well. So as of now, the Yoohoo Barrels and the um, Bouncer will do a lot of damage. However, they both are multi-target attacks, so if you do have multiple enemies, it will target all of them. Unlike the jump helmets, which will only attack, which will only target one enemy. So sometimes the jump helmets still can be a lot more useful, and they're cheaper, and they're simpler. Um, actually, jump helmets are still going to be very useful for the near future because they they're they're basically going to be used for a to, for a certain mechanic for an upcoming boss. Jump helmets have become very useful, so don't worry. Jump helmets are nowhere near obsolete. By the way, a while back we got this item. I never showed it off. Um, it enhances your special attack power by 10%. If you're not a lazy jerk like me, it's not a bad idea to replace uh, Mario's powered boots with that before you go into a boss, because, you know, in bosses you're mostly using special attacks. But I'm lazy. I'm not going to bother changing it. The power boots do still enhance your... Um, I guess it's, you know, it's, 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 it's a trade-off. You can get either um, more powerful special attacks, or you can get more power, which will power up your special attacks, because your special attacks still are based upon your power. But it'll also power up your... Uh, your normal attacks as well. Just not, it won't power your special attacks up as much though as the special boots do. So it's a trade off, really. Anyway, now even though we got the star thing done, as you see, we're actually nowhere near done with this area. There's actually a whole nother section of this area to do before we get to the boss. So 
Nowhere near done. But before we end this episode off, this cutscene is hilarious. This is probably my favorite cutscene in the game because it's basically just a couple minutes of Luigi trying to catch the worm. Just like this is the epitome of Luigi comedy relief. So, you know, we get to end the episode off with some laughs. So, first of all, he's trying to play sort of peekaboo with this thing to try to get to not be scared. And instead, the worm starts sucking his ass. That's disgusting. Why would you bite Luigi's ass? Why would you bite? And uh, he's an Italian plumber. You would. You don't want to go anywhere near an Italian plumber's ass. Let me tell you that. That's just. That's just the epitome of the disgusting right there. I'm sure. So no wonder the guy was like, "Ugh, tastes horrible." Yeah, you don't want to be biting people's asses, buddy. Um. Anyway, now Luigi is trying to catch this thing, not realizing that. Um. Hello, dude. The worm is, you know, digging. It apparently can drill through the ground just like we can. So this episode's so full of drilling. That sounded wrong, but um. So Luigi's obviously failing in comedic fashion to get the worm, and he's like, where's the worm? I don't know where the worm is. Turns out the worm is once again on his ass. Did you not learn the first time? It just it tastes disgusting, and yet you go back for seconds. Why would you do that, worm? You're ridiculous. You are a silly biscuit worm. And then, of course, to add insult to injury, after trying so hard, he fails, and then the worm farts in his face. The worm just farted in his face. I love this guy. He's so funny. But um, Luigi's miserable. Oh well, this is Lucas MDX signing out. See you guys next time for more Energy Hold.